To be able to test your app on iOS, you need to add your device to your developer account, and then you need to generate a profile that has the certificate and device on it. And then at AppPressor, we need to add that to your account, and then you need to rebuild so you can test on your app. Until you do that, you won't be able to test on iOS. So I'm gonna go through that with you. Uh, if you just need to add a device, you're gonna to go to Certificates, Identifiers, and Profiles. Go to Devices on the left. This interface may change, but the uh, where you're gonna go is still gonna be the same. So just find Devices. You're going to add your device name, such as Scott's iPhone, and then you're gonna add your device UDID. And you can check out our documentation to see how to find that UDID. Basically, you plug it into your computer, you go to the finder and click on the device, and then click on the serial number, and it'll show you the UDID. Um, go ahead and add that. And you wanna do that for all of the iOS devices that we'll need to be testing. Uh, you want to do this first before you do anything else because uh, once we generate the profiles for you um, Then you'd have to go back and regenerate a profile if you add a device So if you are adding device after we've already generated your certificates um, Go ahead and do go through that process add your device UDID and then what you're going to do is go down to profiles and Then you're going to choose the profile that was created for you. So you should see um, the type would be development, and then you should see your app ID here or whatever the name of it is, the name of your app, something like that. What you want to do is click on this profile, and then what you're going to do is click edit. You're going to go through and make sure that all your certificates are selected, and then what you'll see here is the device that you added will be unchecked. So for example, it will look like this. So what you want to do is check that device and any other ones that you want on that profile, and then you're going to save it and then download it. And um, go ahead and send that over to us and we will get it added to your account. Now, this is for a development profile, which means that you will be able to test all of your iOS features except for uh, push notifications. And if you wanted to test push notifications, then you would go to your ad hoc profile and that would be like right here, it says ad hoc and you would do the same process and send that over to us.